Now the candlestick chart is more often used for measuring or reflecting stock price behavior. And so in this case, we have five technology stocks. And what we show here through a candlestick chart are the following data points. We can see what the minimum stock price is, opening stock price, closing stock price, and the maximum stock price is over a defined time period. So in this case, we look at a defined period of the fourth quarter of 2012. That is September 30th, 2012 to December 31st of that same year. Now, what does this candle chart tell me? Now, in the case of, say, SanDisk, the bottom or the base of the center line here represents the minimum or the lowest stock price over the three-month period. The top here, as we would expect, of the center line is the maximum or the highest stock price that occurred during that three-month span. Now, within this candle itself, the bottom portion of it represents the opening price, and the top represents the closing price in the sense that when this box is filled in, this represents a gain because you see that the close price is higher than the opening price. But that won't be the case in a hollow box. So in the hollow box, what we end up finding is that the closing price is less than the opening price. So the hollow box tells us that this top portion is the opening price, whereas the bottom part of the candle represents the closing price. Okay, so hollow boxes mean that there is a loss because the close price was less than the opening price. In contrast, a filled box represents a gain because your closing price will be higher than the opening price. Okay, so now that we know exactly what the candlestick chart means, let's figure out how we go about to create it. So again, in our example, we have five technology stocks. And to create the chart, you need the following pieces of data. First, you need to define the time period. In this case, we've defined it as the fourth quarter of the year 2012. The first column here will be shown in your x-axis. So this here, your x-axis label is reflected here. At that point, you have four subsequent columns. The first is the minimum or the lowest stock price over this time period. The next is the opening price on September 30th. The following that is the closing price, the price as of December 31st. And your last data point is the maximum or the highest stock value during that time period. I pulled all this information here from another tab called the raw data. Um, you can set this up any ways you like, but this I pulled this information in through Bloomberg. You can also find the same information through Google Finance or Yahoo. But as long as you have the information here, you can then plug it in to this format. And at that point, once you select this range and go into Insert, select the Chart option. At that point, in your recommended charts, your candlestick chart appears. Another way you can find it is you can go into the trend option. And in the fourth one, you find that this here is the candlestick chart. And at that point, you click on insert. You can customize your chart by changing titles of your axes or changing the format of the y-axis. So in this case, if you want this price to just reflect whole numbers, you can do just that. And of course, you can add in your chart title click insert and at that point you will have your own candlestick chart okay we'll see you next time